Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. You know what time it is. It is time for the fall Ulta 21 days of beauty and we are doing what we always do. We will be going through every item that is in the sale for the upcoming week. So stay tuned for three weeks of videos. If you want to jump around, you can use the timestamps and links in the description box below. We're gonna sort this by day and just go through everything. Have I ever told you all the reason why I decided to do this format? It was years and years ago when I was reading the uh, Novo Cheap blog. May she rest in peace, did you all know? So sad. But people used to comment, oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed this item, it's one of my favorites, I don't know how I missed it. And that's the exact reason I decided to just share everything. I don't always have opinions on every single product in the sale, but I do, of course, welcome feedback. The point of this series is just to be as helpful. I think I do, I think I do need to tell you all something else before we get into this video. I might be a little bit slacky on slacky. <laughs> We're going with it on replying to comments for a little bit. I probably should have told you earlier, but I'm currently taking care of two very large dogs and I have a partner with dog allergies, so uh, you, you, you can guess how that's going. It's only for a few more days as we get things sorted out. It has been stressful though. I'm dealing with what I'm calling HO acne. How can an HOA just change their laws? How can they say one day you can have a dog of this size and the next you can't and if you don't get rid of that dog, it's a thousand dollars a day. How is that? How is that okay? What a good, oh what, you're such good doggies. I'm so sorry that people hate you. There's one right here. I'm trying to get her to sit up, but she just wants to be, she wants belly rubs. Okay, that's enough about me. Let's get into Alta. I do wanna let you know, I was looking at everything that's in week number one and I was thinking, it's so strange. I almost always feel like Alta comes through with a lot of great products in week one and week two is usually a little more meh. I honestly feel like I'm more interested in items that are in week number two. So this, this one might be, it might be kind of a faster video. I feel like there's just a lot I don't have opinions on this week. Usually I wear all the makeup that is in the upcoming event. This is not the makeup from this upcoming week. No, this is, I mean, it did inspire me a lot. It's some Flower nose, we're gonna talk about sea beauty on the channel soon. Yeah, it's it's a strange week. Oh, and I'm also gonna start putting my favorites in the video itself. You know, the little products part that's somewhere around here. I will put my favorites there. Just keep in mind they're only on sale for one day only. And one more time, make sure you use Rakuten. I'm really hoping that Rakuten gives us an extra bonus. I feel like they gave us so many bonuses last year and this year it's just kind of been 2% back at Alta. Where's that 10%? That 10% is so nice to get. Anyway, let's get into this week. We are starting with Sunday, August 27th, and we have one of those app exclusives. No idea what it is yet, but the next item I actually am excited for. We have MAC Select Lipstick, and I'm so glad I already made a reel of MAC lipsticks. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just put it up on the screen. That'll be easy. MAC lipsticks are so good. I was thinking about what happened with MAC, and I feel like, you know, MAC was just so popular. Do you all remember back in the day? MAC was the, the Natasha Denona, the Pat McGrath of the day. And I feel like what happened is they got a little too comfortable with being the gold standard of makeup. And I think that when, when the internet came along, when influencers became a big thing, Mac was over here saying, well, we don't really need to worry about that because everybody already knows we're the best. But times change, you know, and I don't think Mac evolved quickly enough. So this is all to say they do have really good products and their lipsticks are incredible. You get rich pigmentation, they wear evenly. You know, they don't do that wearing off in the center of your lips thing. You have an incredible selection of shades. They smell nice. They kind of have this vanilla scent to them. And that absolutely does influence how we feel about products. I mean, you might not like it. Some people don't, but I think a lot of us do love the smell of MAC lipsticks. I was thinking that I don't know if you necessarily need to get one if you never have. There's also a lot of good affordable lipstick these days, but it is true that back in, I don't know, 2003, 
MAC had the best lipsticks of the time. Let me know in the comments if you have any favorite MAC lipsticks. I, I really like the reds. I like Ruby Woo, I like Russian Red. Oh, that's not a, that's not a good name right now. The point is MAC has high quality lipsticks. And then we have the Lancome Renergy Lift Makeup Foundation and Tiant Idol all over concealer. Sorry if I butchered those names. I don't buy much from Lancome anymore. I really, I think that I have an allergy to something in their fragrance blend. And this isn't to say they're bad products. I'm sure they're fantastic quality, but it is to reiterate the reality of allergies and how they skew our perceptions. I do like Lancome's by Facile, probably because it's a wash off product, but otherwise I don't have an opinion on these. Comment if you do. Beauty Blender Pro is $10. You know, I was noticing how many of these products have gone up in price. The MAC lipsticks went up in price. I remember very well when they were $17. I respect that Beauty Blender has not inflated their prices. It's funny though, because I remember all the Beauty Blender dupes, and these days, if you can get a, a real Beauty Blender for $10, that's not, that's not bad. It's not bad. I do personally still like the e.l.f. Total Space Sponge, and I do like the Shop Miss A. But if you do like Beauty Blender, this is a great time to get it, and it's a good sponge. We have some items from Dermalogica, the Clear Start Foaming Wash and Calm Water Gel Moisturizer. For me personally, Dermalogica has never ended up being among my favorite brands. There are some brands in this sale, some skincare brands that I do like. But yeah, Dermalogica, it just didn't click with me. I know some people do love the brand. As always, this video is not to say my opinions are the best. In fact, if you love Dermalogica, if you love these products, feel free to comment. Moving along to Monday, August 28th, we have the Nude Stick Select Magnetic Eye Color. I've never tried these. Comment if you have, but I have a related story. So I started really getting into shadow sticks. Look, this look today, I had a ton of fun doing it, but it also probably took me 20, 30 minutes. An eyeshadow stick, you slap it on and you go. And I would say my favorites are Bobbi Brown, Laura Mercier, and guess what? Also Elf. ELF has good shadow sticks. I do prefer Bobbi Brown, but ELF is good and really affordable. And because I was getting into them, I started buying more. I bought one from Thrive and oh my gosh, it was so stiff, really hard to work with. I bought one, or I think I got this as a gift with purchase, right? The about face one. The, where's the color? Where's the pigment? I feel like it taught me that, you know, if you have a favorite product category and you wanna get more shades, just, just buy from your favorite brand. And it may already be a very affordable brand. It may, e.l.f. has good makeup. We have a first time steal from Elemis, the Pro Collagen Night Cream. And I will say, out of all the expensive brands I tried, Elemis as well as, mm, Algenist and Suisu and SK2 <laughs> remain some of my very few pricey brands where I really saw good results. And I'm talking in that $100 range. So when it comes to Elemis, if you love this brand, I get it. Do get them on sale though, because you can always find sales on Elemis. They're in the 21 Days of Beauty a lot. They also run really good gifts with purchases on their direct website. So don't pay full price for Elemis. If you've never tried it, I don't know if you're necessarily missing anything. I just put out my video on affordable skincare that I love because I, I want people to know there's other options. We have another skincare product, the First Aid Beauty Cleanser. And I have to admit, I do like this one. It's actually a really good price in the sale too. This will only be $12. It's gentle and yet it's thorough. So I feel like this is one that you're probably gonna like it more if you do have normal to oily skin. I'm a little too dry to use this every single day personally, but it's good. It's a good cleanser. I think I did get this one in PR from one of their holiday sets. Their holiday sets are nice. But yeah, it's a good cleanser. One of my, it, it is one of my skincare picks in this sale. We have the Foreo Luna 4 Go, and I might have a bit of a long conversation on this one. I do have the, I think this is, is this the four or the three? <laughs> I think I got this one in PR. I've also bought the Lunas in the past, but let's have a conversation about who needs these. I don't think every last person needs a device to help them cleanse their face. If you are somebody who is already 
really good about getting in there and massaging off all of your makeup, your sunscreen, really getting in and cleaning your skin, you may not see added benefits from some kind of a cleansing tool. But if it is a struggle for you, if you tend to wash your face for 10 seconds and get tired of it and just want to be done with it, I think that these can help you really get into the act of cleansing. They're kind of fun to use. And I do like the later versions of Foreo's Luna. I do think that the four feels nicer than the three, which feels nicer than the two. They've just kind of figured out how to soften their silicone bristles. And of course, with it being silicone bristles, it's nice that you never have to buy anything else. You just charge this and you charge it so infrequently. But there's another side to this and that is, I just talked about finishing off a, a cognac sponge and I ever so slightly do prefer a cognac sponge even to this day, but that's also a catch-22 to talk about because you have to replace those. So I think if you are somebody who is watching this and you are thinking, oh, I, I do go through a lot of cognac sponges. I probably buy 12 a year. At some point, buying one of these, especially at 50% off, might save you money. But it's just a category where I don't think every last person needs it. And you have to be the one to know yourself. You have to know, are you somebody who's going to buy this and just let it sit forever and never use it? Because then it's not worth spending $65 on something you're just gonna look at and not use. Does that help? I hope that helps. I do like the Lunas. I just, it's just one of those categories that I don't think everyone needs. And those are weirdly hard to talk about categories. <laughs> we have the Dermaflash Lux Advanced Sonic Dermaplaning and Peach Fuzz Removal. Personally, I use the Burst one and it, it does what I needed it to. It's more affordable. So I've never felt the need to buy this. But as always, if you've tried this, if you love it, if you hate it, feel free to comment. I have a lot to say on this next section, false lashes and lash kits. Real briefly, let me tell you why. I used to use lash serums and they really worked for me until one day, frankly what happened is I had irritation from those and you can only deal with irritation for so long before your skin gets really mad at you for continuing to irritate it. So I did start losing lashes. It's not that the lash serum caused me to lose lashes. It's that it was mildly irritating me. And because I didn't listen to myself and kept using it, that's why I saw lash loss. But then I realized, you know, we have a ton of options in terms of false lashes. Why not uh, explore this category more? And oh, how I did. You know, there's some stigmas. There's stigmas against false lashes. There's stigmas against wigs. And I hate the stigmas. We just need to not have them. If you want to have really luscious looking lashes, wear false lashes. Don't let anybody tell you that's not something you should do. I don't understand stigmas. Okay, there's 61 products on this day. I don't wanna spend forever on this, so I'm just gonna tell you. A while ago, I bought a lot from House of Lashes. And I am blown away by how great this brand is for really good prices. In this sale, you're gonna be able to get some House of Lashes for $6. And remember, you can clean them up and use them more than once. I will say the light collection works out much better for me. I can't, I can't quite get the really heavy lashes because if you're new to lashes, you are going to have problems figuring out how to get the inner corner and the outer corner to stay down. And it's harder with the really full lashes. And strangely enough, it's actually kind of hard with the really light lashes. The ones that are in the middle, that's a good place to start. An even better place to start is half lashes. Half lashes are easier to work with than full lashes, and they give a really nice look. And there is one more category that I absolutely, I love, and I even have a favorite, and it is these new Velour Lash Clusters. I think I bought these in the 10X AAPI event. These are so nice. If you're familiar with the Kiss Falscara extensions, these are like that, it's the same idea, except these look even more natural. I don't know if you need to buy the full kit. The kit is $38, but their glue is, their glue is good. It's a lot less irritating than Kiss's glue, but I feel like Kiss's glue holds a little better. I'm also gonna tell you if you're new to these extensions. They are meant to be an at-home lash extension system, but you get clusters instead of individual lashes. And so you put them underneath your eyelashes. 
Again, the first time you do this, it's gonna be a challenge. It's gonna take you an hour. They say you can wear them for up to 10 days. You're not gonna get 10 days of wear the first time because you're still figuring it out. But in my humble opinion, for me at least, it was worth continuing to push through because I've got it down to a very fast application now. And with these, you don't even really need to put on mascara. You just slap these on under your lashes. The more you do it, the faster it gets till one day you have it down to a five minute process. And honestly, at this point, I just put them on in the morning, five minutes, that's all it takes. And now I just take them off at night. It's, it's just easier. Yeah, they're meant to last up to 10 days, but it's just easier and it is not at all damaging to your lashes. So I'm gonna buy more of these in this sale. This is one of few things on week one where I'm going, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy those. Let me tell you what to skip because I have some big misses here too. I don't like Glamnetic. I just feel like their prices are way too high and they were not better, in my opinion, than other magnetic lashes. Magnetic lashes are fine, but really, I, I like this system better. And absolutely skip these. I bought these in a past 21 Days of Beauty, the Lily Lashes Individual Flares. I thought these would be good to use with the, the Kiss Fall Scara system, and I cannot get these out of the packaging. Let's try this. Can you see what a mess this is? I can't get these out. They're absolutely terrible. You, you have to design your lashes in a way that people can remove them from the packaging. This is not to say Lily Lashes is a bad brand overall. I'm probably actually gonna grab their half lashes because again, half lashes are easier than full lashes. I'm probably gonna grab those, but I would not get the individuals. Bare Minerals Primetime Primers. I haven't tried these, but it looks like you can get a travel size for $10. It's kind of tempting. Does anyone have any favorites there? We also have the Peace Out Salicylic Acid Acne Day Dots, 20 count. These will be $9.50. These are good. These are very good. They're very sticky. They pull everything out from whiteheads. The catches, they're expensive. If you do love these, it's another one of those categories where I fully understand buying these. Personally, I did move on to more affordable options that I just talked about in Wednesday's video, but these are good. Black owned and founded. Again, always click through on these multi-item sections because this is where you can find some favorites. We have the Beauty Stat C Perfector item, item in C. <laughs> I feel like brains do work a little faster than mouths. You know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> You get it, vitamin C. We have the Truly Becoming Multi-Benefit Peptide Serum from Key Soul Care. I clicked through on this because I like peptides, but I have to say I talked myself out of this one. The peptide profile in the Ordinary's Multi-Peptide Serum still looks better to me personally, but let me know if any of you have tried this. We have a couple items from Minted, the Blush and the Sunkissed Bronzer. Minted is a wonderful brand and they actually make their products more for deeper skin tones. So if you're having trouble finding blush and bronzer that works for your skin tone, you really might want to look into Minted. And there's an item on this day I've talked myself into repurchasing, and it is the Uma Trippin' Smooth Powder. So I bought this in light a while ago. I think it might have been in a 20... No, it was in, it was in the uh, Black Friday deals. I bought the shade light, and I swear... Within the next week, they released a translucent shade. So I felt like, oh no, you know, I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. I'm gonna have a shade that's too deep for me. No, light is actually perfect. It works perfectly on me. I'm wearing it today. It does give a little more coverage than a lot of powders, but it's still flattering even on my dry skin. And the way this works is you twist this and you get fresh powder every, you get fresh powder every time. I will say, I think the light shade, I think it leans warm. I've been doubting myself lately on whether I even know my dang undertone because one of my best foundation matches is from House Labs and it's a cool tone shade. I thought my skin tone was neutral leaning warm, but what do, what do I know? Anyway, I think it's warm, but maybe it's... <laughs> These brands got me questioning my existence. <laughs> what if everything I thought I knew about myself is wrong? <laughs> I have seen some people say that this shade doesn't work out for them, so there is a translucent option now. They also have, this is a black owned brand, they also have deeper shades as well. I love this powder, I think it's excellent. Maybe too much coverage for some, but I love it. The last item on Tuesday is the Lorac Pro Contour Palettes. I actually have one of these, I have the the big one, but I couldn't find it because I don't really contour anymore. 
I think what it is, is if you are wearing higher coverage, you might find you kind of need to contour to really bring some dimension back into your face. But I've been wearing a lot more light coverage. I'm wearing a BB cream today. And I just don't feel like I need to contour with lighter coverage. You know, just blush is enough. I barely even need highlight. But everyone does their makeup differently. Lorac can be a good option. That's it. If you don't wear heavy coverage, I, I don't think you personally need to try this. Moving along to Wednesday, August 30th, Anastasia Dip Brow. <laughs> okay, so I don't buy from Anastasia anymore because of what happened. I know she said it was a misunderstanding, and maybe it was. I'm not judging anyone who does buy from them, but I just don't. However, I have had a dip brow for a long time, and I decided to break it out today. I do have to say, taupe is a really good, you, you can even see my brows. <laughs> taupe is a good match. I try to do a much lighter application, and it's just so hard. <laughs> It's so hard. I also had to rehydrate mine. I've had it for so long. I used my uh, Inglot Duraline. You all, you all know about this stuff? It rehydrates your makeup if it's been <laughs> a long time since you've touched it. Anyway, uh, yeah, dip brow, it's still kind of scarring to me because oh, how I overdid my brows for a while. Real embarrassing to look back on old photos, old videos. But you know, you, you actually can put it on the back of your hand, wipe it off a lot from your brush, and then lightly apply it. For me personally, pencils work best. I have to just not try to do too much for my brows because they're barely there. And for me, if I try to force it, it just it doesn't look right, in my opinion. Stila's All Day Smudge Sticks. I don't think I've ever tried these. Beekman 1802 Midnight Milk Better Aging Sleep Mask. I have not tried this. Not a bad price. $24.50 in the sale. A lot of people really like Beekman 1802. I have a certain favorite product that actually will be in the sale next week, but I think I'm going to skip this. I don't feel the need to purchase this right now, and that's okay. You know, there's always going to be more sales in the future if I change my mind. But if you do love this, feel free to comment why. We have Cero Vital because it's an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Paracone MD Select Products. So this day includes two items from the High Potency Collection. I don't love the High Potency Collection. It's a little too scented for me. But I do like the Cold Plasma Collection. I'm a little bummed to see it's the Sub D. That is my personal least favorite from the Cold Plasma Collection. I really like the serum and I do like the moisturizer. I just didn't feel like I also needed a separate neck cream. So I'm gonna skip it. I'm also still using the new Peach Slice, or sorry, Peach and Lily a Copper Peptide Serum. I will give you all a review on that. So far, so good. One more item on Wednesday, the Beauty Bakery Face Flower Baking Powder. I have not tried this. I know some people really like it, but personally, I've talked myself into repurchasing the Alma Powder. <laughs> Moving along to Thursday, August 31st, we have the Smashbox Becca. Still feels a little strange to say that. Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Okay. So this is a great product for those of you that have discoloration under your eyes. I feel like one of the most frustrating things as a, a channel that kind of morphed into a, a more of a skincare channel is that I still see a lot of stigma against makeup. This can be the solution for discoloration under the eyes. You know, sometimes it's just genetic and people always want skincare to fix it. But sometimes makeup is the answer. Makeup can fix it. I hate stigmas. Have you gathered? I hate them. Yeah, makeup can be the answer here. This is a great option. I don't have it at the moment because my under eyes have never been my biggest concern. For me, for me, it's acne. <laughs> don't write it off. This is a great product. It's so good that when Becca closed, the product went over to Smashbox because we don't want to lose it. We don't want to lose this product. <laughs> We have Juvia's Place Lip, and I'm so happy to see this. I've said it before, and I will say it again. When you have an affordable brand in the 21 Days of Beauty, oh my goodness, you can get some incredible deals. We are talking about lipsticks between $5 and $7.50. These are price points where it is easy to bite the bullet 
lipstick. <laughs> Lots of options in here. I haven't tried that much, but feel free to comment if you do have some favorites. We have the Tula Brightening Treatment Drops Triple Vitamin C Serum, and I never did my Tula video. I said I was going to, and then I just didn't do it. I do like some products from Tula, but in all truth, this is not one of my personal favorites, and it comes back to that conversation I keep having with vitamin C. There is so much dog hair in the air. <laughs> dog owners, I have a whole new understanding of what it's like to do makeup when you have a dog. I was pulling dog hairs out of my lashes. <laughs> this is a vitamin C serum and it's using 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. The catch with all of these vitamin C derivatives, and honestly, very much including 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, is there's just not the body of literature supporting these. This is not to say they don't work. In fact, I do believe that they work for some people. L-ascorbic acid can be difficult to use. But I do think it's worth trying L-ascorbic acid first before you try the derivatives. If it doesn't work out for you, then you may want to try the derivatives. Again, this is just my personal opinion. I feel like start with the science. If you need to try other products, other ingredients, the options are out there. But I would start with the science. I've got to cut into the video because I almost missed this. The Tarte Maneater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. It's a product I haven't tried, so you know the deal. Leave your thoughts in the comments below if you have tried this. Now we move on to Friday, September 1st. Then we have the Lanco Monsieur Big Volumizing and Waterproof Mascara. I used to love this mascara so much, but I think that when my preferences changed from being a little more of a fan of matte looks into more dewy looks, I really had to change my mascaras. Did anyone else go through this same course of events? Yeah, some mascaras work fine if you are doing matte makeup, but when you start bringing in more moisture into your skin, that's when you can really see flaking and smudging from mascaras that worked on a matte look. We have the Clarins Total Eye Lift Firming and Smoothing Eye Cream. I feel like I've talked to a lot of people who really really love this one. I don't have as much of an opinion on this personally, but I, I do think it's a good, well done eye cream. Get it for 50% off though, because Clarins is expensive. We have a first time steal in here that I have to admit is exciting. The Osea Undaria Algae Body Butter. The stuff is nice. Osea as a whole, I tried them a while ago and I didn't love their skincare products, but I did love their body care. But it's expensive. $56 for a body butter, whoo. Oh, that's very, it's one banana, Michael, how much can it cost? So if you do love it, get it for $28 instead of $56. It is nice. It is a very nice body butter. Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Powder Blush. Is anyone still buying Kylie? Let me know in the comments. I am just not interested in this brand personally. This next one actually is tempting for me. I would love to know if any of you have tried this. The Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask. Normally, I'm really, really picky about face masks, but Fresh is one of few brands where I've actually felt their face masks, they do something. <laughs> More than just the skintertainment of putting a mask on, they, they give results. I haven't tried this one specifically, but I was shocked with the uh, instant black tea mask. So maybe Fresh is good at masks. Let me know. Again, haven't tried this, cannot give opinions personally, but feel free to leave a comment if you've tried it. We have one more item for Friday, and that is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is a moisturizing primer. Now, I don't use this category anymore. I used to. Back when I used mineral sunscreens, I would need something moisturizing on top of that, so I used to use these kind of primers. For me personally, now that I use Korean sunscreens, I just don't need this category. But if you do, this one is a nice option. It's very scented. It has a coconut scent to it. And it is a lighter texture, so it probably will work on pretty much all skin types. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's, it's nice. I just don't need it anymore, personally. The last day in week number one, Saturday, September 2nd, we have the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow. It's another one where I understand if you love this product, it's nice, it's very well done. It does lean a little warm, but they are nice. If you love these, get them in the 21 Days of Beauty because otherwise they are $25 each now. That's another one of those products I have watched the price go up on. 
And then we have a first time steal, and I, I really had to do a double take when I saw this. Fenty Beauty's Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighters. Uh, I sometimes feel like I've been into beauty for such a long time. Do you all remember Trophy Wife? Do you remember what a big deal this was? Do you remember how it sold out and you had to go on Poshmark and people had the prices all marked up? Now they're in the 21 days of beauty. How the times do change. This one right here, I obviously I can't wear this as a highlighter, so I have no idea why I chased after this so much and genuinely did buy this on Poshmark, no joke. Did I think this was gonna work as a highlighter for my skin tone? But you know, it is nice that this highlighter exists for deeper skin tones. Again, there's other options. They are really nice highlighters. They are high pigment, high glow. So if you're into these, you know, <laughs> you can get them for $20 instead of $50 on Poshmark. Listen, I am glad we don't have to play those games anymore with makeup. Sometimes I don't like how much makeup is out there, how much skincare is out there, there's so much. But the pro is we don't have these sell out things anymore. We have sales now. Okay, first time steal, Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris Eau de Parfum. What a gorgeous bottle. It is so pretty, the bottle is tempting me. I feel like I've tried this. I think I've had some little sample vials before, and I think I, I, I think I wasn't blown away, but I'm not sure. So let me know if you have tried this and if you love it. We have the Mac Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol Free 16 Hour Setting Spray. I kind of just haven't tried the last three here, so we're gonna go through them quickly. I do think that might actually be a true fixing spray. It might extend the wear of your makeup. Again, comment if you've tried it. And the final item for week number one, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow Tint. Have not tried it. Feel free to comment if you have. I do wanna say before I close out this video, I'm hoping to see uh, the Ulta brand items, 50% off. There's some real winners from Ulta. They never show you them in the preview, but I'm hoping we see them. We usually do have them pop up. If they do, I'll link them in the description box below. And that's it. That's week number one. Let me know what you think of this week. If you're grabbing anything, if you do or don't recommend any of these products, feel free to share. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and come back for week two and week three. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all next time.